Would it surprise you to learn that even though we have effective treatments for a disease, it still kills well over a million people every year? My name is Ayo Kunle Alariwaju. I'm a postdoc at the University of Washington in Seattle, and I'd like to tell you about how my research aims to prevent unnecessary deaths from human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. HIV affects a person's immune system, makes more and more copies of itself, essentially hijacks your system and leaves you open to other diseases. Now, as I mentioned before, we have great medicines that can treat this. We have medicines that can make people live long, healthy lives, even when they're living with HIV. We have medicines that can prevent transmission of HIV to loved ones. And in fact, you have medicines that can prevent infection of people at high risk. So why do we still have this huge burden of people dying every year? Part of that is because medicines don't work if we don't take them. Now you might say, well, why don't people just take their medicines? It's not that simple. How many of us floss every day, even though we know we ought to? So what we would like to do is to provide a tool for patients and doctors that will allow them to monitor their own health in the same way that you can look at your fit, Fitbit and say, well, I've got 10,000 steps today. I know I'm protected. We want to do the same thing for HIV treatment. Our test takes advantage of some of the basic biology about how HIV functions. We give an HIV enzyme, an HIV tool, everything it needs to make more and more copies of its DNA. The only thing we don't control is how much a drug is in a, is in a person's blood. Now, the idea is if there's enough drug in their system, then the HIV can't make more copies of itself, more DNA. Now, if there's not enough drug, the HIV can make all the DNA at once. And so what we do is we measure DNA, or the number of HIV copies, as a proxy for how much drug is in the patient's blood. Thankfully, biology has advanced to the point that we can measure the DNA very quickly at room temperature. And this allows us to build a quick test that doctors and patients can use. We hope that this will help to improve healthcare outcomes from HIV. Thank you for your time.